Put the P in the B And we will make a baby I love you and you love me I need you near me now Hey, what happened? What's yours? Mm. No. What time is it? 5.30. I don't get it. Hmm. You don't want to wake up at 7 to feed the baby, but you'll get up even earlier to go on a camping don't trip. Don't forget the waves of joy As we sat beside the lake shore You and me Actually, we're not going until 8 a.m. Um, why'd you set the alarm so early then? I had something I wanted to do before the kids got up. What? A little early morning delight. <laughs> you think so, huh? <laughs> Your skin deserves the best, and so you look younger, feel younger, and you might be back younger. I'll take care of the kids mm. until Neil shows up mm. and you can sleep in. Mm, this is sounding better. I'm just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, okay. Only because you have to share a tent with him for the next two nights. Come on. I'm working here. <laughs> Clear off. Knock, knock. Hey. He's getting ready. Okay, how you doing? I'm good. Oh, Hey, I'm really sorry we missed dinner the other night. We were all ready to go, and then Becca got sick, and she threw up all over the living room couch and the carpet. Yeah. I had to call the babysitter and tell her to turn around and go home. It happens. No, it sucks. I haven't seen you since the 4th of July barbecue at Mom's. Did you get the text before you got to the restaurant? I was already there, so I just ordered dinner to go. I'm sorry. I needed the alone time. It's been a busy week. Just me and my chicken cacciatore. Aww. Uncle Neil! Uncle Neil! Hey, kid! Wait a minute, you're not still sick, are you? I don't think so. You don't think so? I'm not buying it. Keep your distance. Look at this floor. It looks like a crime scene in here. Go hug your mother. You got everything? I got the gear if you got the beer. Beer's in the truck. All right, let's get out of here, man. I just don't get it. Don't get what? Penis. Penis? Penis. Mm. What do you mean, penis? I don't get how any guy can dig penis. Oh. Well, I don't know. Maybe because it's... No, you know what? I have no idea. I mean, it's not like it's attractive at all. Hmm. You know Tom from Acquisitions? Yeah, he's gonna play second base for us this year. I think he likes dick. 
What? No, man. Dick's married with two kids. Lisa and I have known him for years. No, not that dick. Yeah, the guy from accounting got the uh, growth on his neck? No, you know, dick. Not following. Dick. Penis. Johnson. Schlong. Tool. Sausage. The Big Dipper. Teddy. Dick. Wait, did you just say Teddy? Who the hell is Teddy? It's what I named my penis. You named your penis Teddy? Where the hell did you get that from? Well, when I was a kid, my dad bought me this action figure who Forget did this it. thing. Sorry I asked. Thanks. How much do we owe you? So why do you think Tom is gay? I don't know. He just always seems really flirty around me. He's always asking me to hang out. Always complimenting the way I look. Uh, who could blame him? No, I'm serious. Just the other day he told me he liked my haircut. At the urinal. He did not grab your hair. You're totally making that up. Well, maybe not, but that was what it felt like. It was uncomfortable. I always just thought he was quiet. <laughs> they always do. Hey, there's somebody on our camping site. You reserved it, right? Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you. A couple of buddies of mine wanted to join us. That's cool, right? Yeah. Awesome. I'll introduce you. I just kind of had something I wanted to tell you. Oh, what's that? <laughs> hey, Neil, this is Liam. Yeah, we met. Yeah, at the 4th of July thing. Right. Right. Yeah. Hey, thanks for letting me tag along. Sure. Hey, where's Wes? Wes went on a date with someone from a dating app. Oh, I've tried those things. It's just a bunch of cam strippers trying to get your money. <laughs> yeah, who do you think you went on the date with? Right. Hey, you brought the El Basha though, right? What's that? It's weed. Uh... It's a good shit too. I got it from my neighbor's kid. Wait, Mikey? He's seven. <laughs> yeah, ten years ago. He goes to the community college now. Jesus, that makes me feel old. Hey, we should probably unload and head down to the dock, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't bring any fishing gear. Oh, that's cool. I got an extra pole you can use. Yeah. Let's be honest, guys. I don't really fish. I'm cool just hanging back here. Okay. Really? Yeah. You guys go. Enjoy yourselves. I'll yeah. set up your tent here and get some wood, make a fire. Where's your tent? I brought the weed. All right. <laughs> Just catch me some dinner, huh? <laughs> All right, cool. It's beautiful out here. Yeah. Seems great. Our 17th year. Tradition, right? Yeah. You remember the first time we went camping? No, not really. You kidding me? What? Freshman year of college, remember? Hey, let's invite some friends, have a cookout. Maybe we could sneak out some beer. Maybe I could finally make out with Marlene McBab, right? And then maybe, just maybe, you can bang my sister in the back of my truck. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I married her. And you were the best man. Yeah. Whatever happened to Marlene? I broke up with her that night. Why? Well, we were making out, really going at it. We were about to... You know, she told me she was having her thing. Her thing? You mean like her princess was crying? <laughs> Dude, it was everywhere. Holy shit, that's embarrassing. And gross. What was that? <laughs> Kira Knightley. Naomi Watts. Emma Watson. Hmm. Wait, Hermione? Yeah. Is she like 12 in those movies? I mean, it's kind of weird, isn't it? She's an adult now. Yeah. A lot of people watch those movies and have a crush on her. Yeah, but they were her age. When you saw it, you were in college. Hey, no judgments. That's the rule of the game, remember? Yeah, no judgments. Yeah. So what about dudes? What about them? Let's switch it up. If you were gay, which celebrity would you want to hook up with? What? Why are we doing this? Because it's something different. Come on, it shouldn't be any different than naming off ladies. <laughs> I can think of a couple of things that are different. Come on, <laughs> just play along, Rob. Who wants to go first?
Daniel Craig. Sexiest Bond ever. Oh. Okay, who's next? Ellen DeGeneres. Ooh. No, that's not the game. <laughs> she likes women and she dresses like a guy. It's close enough. No, you have to follow the rules. Oh, who's judging now? <laughs> I gotta take a leak. <laughs> Careful. So, who would it be? What? Which celebrity? What guy? I thought we were done with this. No, we're not done until everybody names a dude. All right. Marlon Brando. Y the younger Brando. The rebel type, huh? Yeah. You know, kind of wild, not afraid to speak their mind. Overindulgence, egomaniac. Now that's a necessity of genius. Albert Einstein wasn't an egomaniac. Right, with care like that, he had to be. Just like uh, Don King. Did you just compare Albert Einstein to Don King? Yeah, well, I mean, what about you? You didn't go. Who would you pick? Oh. Uh. Listen, whatever's said out here stays out here, right? Sure. I've thought about, you know... What? Celebrities. Gay celebrities. Not really famous people, just gay people. Oh, oh shit. Sorry. Hey. <coughs> What brought this on? Well, haven't you ever thought about it? No, man. I mean, I got married when I was 22, remember? And after that, you kind of settled down in your sexual confusions. Uh, oh, yeah. oh. Come on. All right, in the tent. <sighs> so no regrets then? I don't know, you know? I mean, it's, it's marriage. It's not perfect. You know, actually, the thing is, between work and kids, I really don't even see Lisa anymore. When I do, she always wants to go out to these places, these horrible places, like theater or the opera or the ballet. But there's nothing worse than watching a grown man dance around in his socks <laughs> to really bad music with an outline of his testicles showing for <laughs> the whole world to see, right? Sorry, unless you're into that. No, man, I just can't seem to meet anybody. I'm not very good at dealing with chicks. Oh, well, that's just because when you get nervous, you say some really insensitive things. I do not. Bulimic or anorexic? Jungle fever. Have you read the Dharma Bums from Jack Kerouac or Derrida's Specters of Marx? What? I would be curious to know what you think of Derrida's thoughts on the ten plagues of the global or capital system. Noodle it over. There's supposed to be somebody out there for everyone, right? I used to wonder if mine was living in Indonesia by some sick twist of fate. I won't even be able to recognize her because she's all covered up with a veil. You know, what if she lives over there halfway around the world and she's waiting for me? I don't have that kind of money. I don't have that much vacation time saved up either. What am I supposed to do? <sighs> I'm just really, really lonely. Sometimes I wonder if I can't meet the right one because I'm looking for the wrong sex. Oh man. Just, you need to get out more. It's not like you can bring dates home to your bachelor pad. I have my own place. Girls like that. Dude, I don't even like going there anymore. When I step into your place, I feel like I'm entering the worst episode of Hoarders. You know, you're not alone. I once had a dream where I'm sitting in the bathroom and I'm watching this gorgeous woman take a bath. I mean, I wasn't married to Lisa in the dream. It was like this alternate reality. Anyway, so I'm sitting there, and she's washing herself, and she's, and she's fucking beautiful. Right? But you know how dreams are. So all of a sudden, she turns into this guy. So now I'm just sitting there watching a dude take a bath. What'd you do? Well, what could I do? You know, I didn't want to get up and leave. You might think I'm homophobic, so I just sit there and I watch him. Hmm. I mean, everything's different now. You know, things are changing. People get offended so easily. I mean, you don't want to upset anyone, but you know, it's confusing. Look, look, the point is, it's just clean up your act a little bit and I'll have Lisa introduce you to some of her friends. 
You're just too shy. And you wear too much corduroy. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Dude, when I walk behind you, I'm scared that your ass is gonna light a fire. Would you still hang out with me if I was gay? Of course. Wait, are you coming out? No, I just, I... I wonder about my place in life. I don't have anyone to share it with. You have someone to come home to. You get a kiss when you get home. I get a microwavable burrito. You know, I got you. You're my best friend, but I don't have any other friends. Well, you usually seem happy. I am. It's... Ever since Dad died, I've just got this huge void when I'm alone. I don't know. That's the best I can explain it. He's just having a hard time with it, too. Yeah. Come here. I mean, dude, this is huge. Have you tried anything? Like, gone to a gay bar? Oh, man, I don't even know if this is real. I'm just talking. I appreciate you confiding in me. Well, why don't you try something, you know? Why don't you, like, kiss a dude? You know, just try it out once, see how it feels, you know. Then you can draw conclusions. And I don't know. It's your choice. No, you're right. You know, one kiss wouldn't hurt anything, right? Oh. Yeah. Now we just gotta find someone for you to try it out on. What about Tom? What about him? He said he was hitting on you at the urinal. Well, yeah, what if I was wrong? No, man, this needs to be somebody I can completely trust. Yeah, but who do we know that's gay? I don't know anyone. Oh, wait a minute. What about gay Jeremy, Lisa's friend? Got married in Iowa a few months back. Shit, you're right. God, who could I trust with this? It needs to be somebody reliable, somebody who respects me. Somebody I've known for a long time, you know? It needs to be somebody like, uh... No. What? No, I know what you're thinking, dude. I'm not I... gay and I never wanted to be. I know that. That doesn't matter. Come on, this is for me. Oh, okay, so you won't do it with gay Jeremy because he's married, but what about me? Come on, man, it's not like it would mean anything. Just a, a test. Like testing a car battery, remember? You helped me with that once. You just hit an all-time low when it comes to analogies. I mean, how you can link those two, I have no idea. Come on, just one. No, man. Like, look, we've been friends forever. That would change things. No, it wouldn't. It's a meaningless action. We never talk about it again. You sure? You really think I'd want to bring this up at work? You know, we could discuss it over the water cooler. <laughs> Come on, man, give me a break. Uh, I don't know, man. Look, man, I don't want to pressure you, okay? If you don't want to help me out, I'll understand. Ah, oh, God damn it. All right, all right, get over here. You sure? Yeah, now, damn it. Come on. No, I can't fucking do this. All right, round two. All right. Nope, not gay. What do you mean? Didn't happen for me. Well, you know, maybe I didn't, uh, I do, didn't do it right, you know? No, you did. Oh, but you know, I can do, I can do better. You, you did fine. What, you didn't get any sparks? Not a, it was like kissing my grandmother, your facial hair included. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I can get a little more credit than that, right? Sorry. Well, you know, um, maybe I can do it better next time. Here. You don't come need on. to. Well, yeah, well, I'm doing this for you, right? No. I mean, come on. Look, I can make you gay. No! I'm not gay, that's all. <laughs> you sure? Yes. I feel much better, man. Thanks.
You're welcome. Good fishing today, huh? Yeah. It's quite the catfish you caught. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> he put up a good fight. Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, when we get back, you think you could introduce me to Lisa's friend? Oh, yeah? Which one? Come on, the blonde one with the big tits. Uh, Ariel. Ariel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, she's <laughs> yeah. hot. Honk, honk. <laughs> Man, I'd like to get in there and get me some of that. Oh, yeah, you know. In there. <laughs> I uh, better get some sleep. Yeah, me too. Another big day tomorrow. You okay? I'm hurting. How would you feel about skipping the rest of the day and heading back early? Yeah, we're not as young as we used to be, huh? Gum? You're home early. Yeah, I missed you. You smell like a skunk. Hmm. We really need to set Neil up with Ariel. Mm hmm? Why? Trust me. Yeah, I wish lesbians looked like that. And I wish they liked dick. Mm. Let's figure out what all this gay shit is about. Excuse me. Do you need some help with that tool? No, but I can help you with your tool. Your car's parked behind my room. Whoa! What are you doing? What you talking about with the car? Gross! You were about to whack it. You know I don't like that. Yeah. Wow, that guy's really going for yes. it. Yes. I thought you were on your way to the grocery store. You're doing it right in the middle of the TV room. Oh, would you prefer I did it in the kitchen? That is not the point. You're staring at other women and letting them turn you on. Am I not enough? <sighs> Of course you are, that's a silly question. But let's be realistic here. What you've got physically versus what they're working with? I mean, it's two totally different ballparks. Oh, but look at you. What do you think? You look like that guy? With your double chin and your kegger belly? I don't look that much different than these guys. Guy? Please, is Ron Jeremy in that one? Let me see. No. No, I want to see No, who's... no, you can't do it, all right? You've got to keep your wife and your porn in two different categories. Oh you are a perverted shit. I know, I know I am, but I can't help it. That's just how men are wired. Look, women want conversations, reassurance, compliments, and cuddles. Men just want to conquer on the battlefield and in the bedroom. Maybe spread their seed a little bit. That's great. That's really smart. Where'd you get that? A textbook circa 1960? No, the Discovery Channel. <laughs> you are unbelievable. Honey, I think you're beautiful. I married you, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you, and I stand by that. It's not like I'm going out and cheating on you with other women. 
And you want to know why? Why? Because I watch porn. You think that's why you're not sleeping with other women? You are in your mid-30s. You haven't worked out since Becca was born because you wanted to be healthy and set a good example. And that was 10 years hey, ago. that is not fair. I work out on Tuesdays. Babe, putting on your running suit and watching The Biggest Loser does not count as a workout. It motivates me. Look, I do sit-ups and push-ups during the commercial breaks. Honestly, I am not worried about other women. I'm just worried about who you're lusting after in your imagination. Not worried? I'll have you know I have options. You really are watching too much of that shit. Uh, somebody asked me to kiss them a few days ago. Really? Uh-huh. Who? Someone at work. What? Yeah. They complimented my tie in the bathroom. And what was she doing in the bathroom? I mean break room. Uh-huh. And she asked you to kiss her? Yeah. But I said no, of course. Do I know her? <sighs> no. And you're just now telling me this. Well, I didn't want you to get jealous, but apparently I'm not good looking enough, so no worries there. You're trying to divert me from being mad about you partying in Yanktown. What? This didn't really happen, did it? Yeah, of course it did. Hmm. Well, I'm sure you told Neil about your little jaunt with a fellow co-worker. I mean, you guys did just go camping. So maybe I'll just give him a call and see if it's true. Come on, Lisa, you're being ridiculous. Admit you made it up. I am not going to because I'm telling the truth. Okay. Oh my god, this is so stupid. Neil? What? Okay, just wait, stop. Yes, you're right. There's no co-worker in the bathroom? The break room. Whatever. No. Ha! I knew it. And I am still mad at you for feeling like you have to watch some bimbo on a screen to get hard when I am right here. Come on, Lisa, for Christ's sakes. It's like fantasy, all right? I'm... These women are probably crack whores. And who wants a crack whore, hon? No one. That's who, okay? No one. Pathetic. I know somewhere in your twisted little mind you think that's supposed to make me feel better. Yeah, well, what about all those romantic novels you read? I heard that's like porn for women. Uh, hon, The Great Gatsby is not porn. I need to go to the store. Can you move your car? I'm kind of in the mid- Oh my god, I will just take your car, okay? <clears throat> Let's see here. This was getting interesting. What the fuck? Out of the two, which is gayer? You are. No, out of these two amazing man covers. Oh. Do you really think I'm gayer even after Lake Mahoney? I don't know. Let's just not talk about it. I know you're dying to get into these red undies. Yeah. Or get a hold of these massive fucking balls. All right, quit. <laughs> Speaking of Lake Mahoney, has Lisa talked to Ariel yet? Oh yeah, can't believe I didn't tell you. They met up. When? Last week. It's good to see you. You too. So what did they say? If you were into porn, what kind of porn would you be into? Oh, that's easy. Would you be bondage or girl next door? Oh, those are really different types. Different strokes. It all depends on the mood. Uh, what about lesbian porn? Why are you asking? I'm curious. <laughs> no, not for me. I'm, I think Rob is. Of course he is. I don't know any guy that doesn't enjoy watching two ladies make no, out. I mean, not lesbian porn. Well, yeah, lesbian porn, but... That's not all. Oh. I'm all ears. So, yesterday I caught him on the computer with his pants down. Oh, classic. Mm -hmm. Did he try to pretend like he was just watching football scores? Nope. He admitted what he was doing right away. Really? And we get this huge fight, and I leave, and then I come back and I log on to his computer. Lisa! Come on. Don't pretend you've never done that. Touche, salesman. So was it not password protected? No, it was, but he used the same password for everything. Can I ask? It's, uh, it's balls? <laughs> yep. He thinks that word's hilarious, and so I checked it on his laptop once, and it worked. And then I checked on his email, and it worked again, and sure as shit, everything that needs a password is balls. What about sites that uh, require letters and numbers? Uh, balls, one, two, three. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yep. So anyway, I'm checking his search history and this free porn site comes up. No surprise there. Yeah. But it was gay porn. Nazi gay porn. Really? Yeah. 
I mean, what am I supposed to make of that? Different strokes. Um, be serious. The Nazi part is fucked up, right? But I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm just overthinking it. Then Lisa asked her if she'd be interested in you. Does she remember me? Oh, yeah. So does he look like you? Mm, not really. He's pretty tall. Well, I like tall guys. Here, let me show you his profile. They even scoped out your page. Oh my god, what is he wearing? Yeah, <laughs> he does have an odd fashion sense, but he's really sweet once you get to know him. Oh god, Neil, what are you wearing? <laughs> Great! So did she set up a date for this weekend? Yeah, actually there's a little snag there. What's that? She isn't available for a few weeks. Why? I'm going on dates with other guys. And they said we're single. I am. They're just dates. I'm just keeping my options open. What does she do? She's an artist. That's cool. Yeah, a tattoo artist. That's hot. Are you interested? Cool. 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 Great. Hey, honey. I think I'm going to go running. Really? Good for you. Yeah, I'll probably be a while, so don't stay up. Okay. Love you. Yeah. Back already? Yeah, what do you mean? You were only gone 10 minutes. Yeah? Well, I ran two miles. Must be pretty fast. You have ran 0 0.4 miles. Impressive. Why don't you hop in here with me? Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm pretty sweaty. It's okay. I tell myself that I'm doing fine. Oh my goodness, you are sweaty. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, Lise. What? It turns me on. Oh, okay, hold on. I, I think it's uh, time for round two. I, I really just came back to get some more water. Rob. Lise, you don't want me to stop when I'm in the middle of a workout fever, do you? Alright. Be safe. I want to see you in your You want to dress to impress. I don't have any impressive clothes. We just have to put the right combination together. So what's Ariel like? Rob said she's already kind of into me. Rob said that? Mm-hmm. Well, that's another one. Another what? He's just been acting really strange the last couple weeks. Doesn't talk to me as much. He's started doing other things when I'm around. Oh, honey? It's like he's always busying himself with other tasks to avoid being with me. Sorry, can't talk right now. Fixing the pipes. And last night was really weird, okay? He was really tired from running. He decided to just keep working out. Well, good for him. Initiative. Yeah, but I went to sleep, and when I woke up the next morning, he was passed out on the couch. Lisa, stop worrying. Probably just didn't want to wake you or the kids. He was really drunk. How do you know? Because we were drinking. Hey, you like math? Let's add you and me. Subtract our clothes, divide your legs, and multiply. You know, this all started when he got back from that camping trip you guys went on. What the hell happened out there? Gourds? You are hopeless. <laughs> Let's go shopping. Okay. Of course we are. It's just that I saw you on the couch this morning when I was getting cereal. Honey, I was just... I fell asleep watching TV last night. But the TV wasn't on this morning. And my friend Ryan's parents are getting a divorce and he said it started with his dad sleeping on the couch. No, I was just... I used the timer remote sleep mode thing. You know, Ryan's parents are horrible people. They don't even go to PTO meetings. And... I heard his dad bought stock in Blockbuster Video, so what does that tell you? You and Mom haven't been together recently. Ryan's parents stopped spending time together, too. Forget about Ryan. Becca. 
Your mom and I, we're just fine. Really, we're okay. And even if we weren't, your brother and you are the most important things to me in the whole world. And I'm not gonna let anything change that, all right? Okay. Hey, why don't we go to the wild cat paddock, set your brother up against the glass, and see if a lion tries to eat him? Yeah! <laughs> hey, you're early. I guess I am. I wanted to get here before you. Sorry. But we're here now, so... Yeah, let's see. I'm starving. So have you eaten here before? I thought you were a blonde. Excuse me? The last time I saw you, you had blonde hair. Yeah, so I colored it. I'll probably have the grilled chicken salad. Salad? Not me. I like meat. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and big rare steak. Well... The salad's not so bad if there's chicken in it, right? Yeah, but it doesn't have much, and those little tomatoes are bleh. What? I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this dating thing. I know I'm being an ass. You know what? I don't really like salads all that much either. I was only gonna order it because that's one of the rules. Rules? Rules of how a woman is supposed to act on her first date, you know? Don't order the most expensive thing and eat light. You're kidding me, right? I don't care what you eat. <laughs> as long as it's not salad, right? <laughs> I guess. What are the other rules? Oh, there are tons. Be on time. Don't talk about politics or religion. Research sports so you have something to talk about. But don't talk about your exes. Don't ramble on. I'm already fucking that one up. <laughs> <laughs> don't swear. Don't talk about marriage or kids. Which I don't particularly want them, by the way. Yeah, me either. Any other rules I should be aware of? Oh, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. And it's all bullshit anyway. Most of the guys I've been going out on dates with recently, they try way too hard to pretend that they're, I don't know, a model out of GQ or something. That they're not real. They're just some fake idea of what they think a woman wants. And you know what I want? I want a human being. I want a man that's gonna say, I'm starving, get me a goddamn steak. That way I don't have to wait six months to find out that he shits with the door open. <laughs> you do, don't you? Do what? Shit with the door. Open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so do you want to get out of here? Uh, sure, where do you want to go? Well, my friends are playing a tease down the street. I mean, we could just pick dinner up at the burrito guy. Hey, it sounds good. So does my sister know this side of you? What do you mean? I don't know, I just don't see her hanging out with somebody so... Crazy? I was gonna say cool, but yeah, that works too. Yeah, of course you do. Come on, they're starting. Who's playing? Blood Cow. Wait, Blood Cow? They're my favorite band. You know those guys? Yeah, you can say that. Come on, let's go. That was amazing. Ooh, I didn't know you could do that. You got pipes. <laughs> Dick for days. 
why you wanted to go out on the date tonight for a good lay actually i was hoping for a great lay i just settled for a mediocre lay you punk <laughs> but you never answered my question is that why you came out on this date tonight with me honestly i hope so i'm sure i'm breaking one of the rules here by saying this but i came out tonight because of my dad not quite the romantic answer i was expecting yeah you said you wanted it bullshit free touche salesman Oh, I'm sorry. Your dad, he passed away. I, I keep forgetting that I'm on a date with Lisa's brother. Oh. No, not that that's a bad thing, being on a date with Lisa's brother or being Lisa's brother. Your dad dying. Um, uh, he died of cancer, right? Yeah, he was 60. And I remember thinking, well, that isn't young, but it sure as hell isn't old. In fact, I'm 35. Based on that, my life is more than half over. You're losing me on that one. I've been taking everything for granted. I've been holding off the rest of my life. I mean, when I'm not hanging out with my family, I'm just sitting here in my apartment alone, rotting. I am a scared, lazy shit who's been too afraid to live his life. That's romantic. That's truth. That's the moment worth going on a date for. Are you kidding me? Me babbling on about all the sad shit in my life? It's pathetic and boring. Do you ever go to live theater or read plays? No, I can't say that I do. Well, then I take it you've never heard of Aeschylus then. Yeah, no. I mean, Aeschylus basically created the genre that we think of as tragedy. You know how he died? An eagle, and this is true, dropped a tortoise on his head. <laughs> <laughs> See, the eagle has the reptile in his mouth and he's all ready for his dinner. When he looks down and he sees Aeschylus' bald helmet and mistakes it for a rock. So he drops the tortoise down with the intent to crack its shell. Instead, he instantly kills this brilliant writer known for writing the most depressing things that you'll ever read. <laughs> but that is the ultimate triumph of comedy over tragedy. You know, life can suck and it's ironic as hell but you can't change the past. You just have to laugh and let it go, move on. And that's what you're doing tonight, Neil. Shit, that's what I'm doing here too. Happy birthday, old man. Hey, watch out, I can still kick your ass. Terrible language. Oh, you just missed your mother. Oh, we'll stop by the house and see her when we're all finished. Oh, okay, good. Oh, you look gorgeous. Thank you look you. gorgeous. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Done and you can't see a thing. <laughs> hey, Becca, do you, do you want a little brother or a little sister? I want a sister! <laughs> <laughs> what, no cake? No, we wanted to bring one, but Nurse Rat shit wouldn't let us. Language. <laughs> he calls them as he sees them. <laughs> Beat this thing. We know that, Dad. Besides, I gotta check on this little guy. <laughs> so it's gonna be a boy? Dad, you weren't supposed to say anything. Oh, well, I'm a glutton for spoiling things. All right, Mr. Reynolds, it's uh, time for some tests. Time for your guests to go. Oh, we just got here. Nicknames don't make friends. Oh, oh. Try to get some rest. Oh, we'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Just one good
Hey Neil, this is the third message I left you. I haven't seen you in a while. So give me a call. Let's grab a beer, all right? Call me. Hey, are you sleeping down here again? Yeah, it's too hot upstairs with the heater. Wanna cuddle? What's wrong? Just missing dad. Yeah, get in here. So she paid for your dinner? Damn right she did. I don't give this away for free, you know what I'm saying? I got a strike. No, I don't know. It's like, women expect men to do a silly dance. You know, buy shit, pay for dinner, compliment them, as if their ass doesn't smell like mine. I mean, I treat them like they're lucky to be with me, and then I just slide them the bill at the end of dinner. And this actually works? Yeah, it does. They're so outraged and shocked at the dating standard reversal, how they're not up to my standards, and they're just mentally perplexed why they're not worth my dollar. So then they take me home and fuck my brains out. Well, you're up, Casanova. So how was Thanksgiving? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, turkey, ham, uh, green bean casserole, uh, mashed potatoes, stuffing till I was stuffed. It was great. He asked you how your Thanksgiving was. Not what you ate, Butterball. You just focus on your score, Franklin! I feel like I'm out of shape. Well, that's why I'm bowling. Get my exercise in, work this off. I don't know, I just really let myself go. You know, I don't think I'm attractive anymore. It doesn't matter if you lost 20 pounds or gained it, man. At this point, your wife is probably not attracted to you anymore anyway. I mean, mine, I swear she goes out of her way to not look me in the eyes. It just ends up that way after a while. Yeah, but I don't just need my wife, you know? I, I want to be attractive to others. Like who? You know, like society, myself. Oh, oh, oh it's sad, Wes. Uh, you're bowling like shit, and there's no ladies around to want to fuck you for it. Oh, what a waste. Oh. You guys better watch it, or the NAACP's gonna come in here and slap a lawsuit on your ass. Insulting an African American on our holiday. <laughs> what holiday? Nigga, it's the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, I mean, they call it Black Friday for a reason. Why? Because it's so cheap? Yes, that. And because it's the only other day where white people be acting like black folks. I mean, fighting over a parking space in Walmart's parking lot just to save a few bucks on a deep fat fryer. Well, I'm not shopping today, and the only thing I'm killing is your bowling score. <laughs> Motherfucker, I don't bowl. I'm probably the only black person ever stepped foot in this bitch. Yeah, all right. Well, let me get this straight. You don't bowl, and you don't pay for dinner. What is it that you do? I lick ladies' assholes till they come. Which only takes about 30 seconds. <laughs> I'm not gonna high-five you for that. That's disgusting. I mean, that's why they call me the brown Spider-Man, because I love the taste of that brown spider. Mm. Uh, all right, stop, or I'm gonna lose a little turkey. <laughs> it might do you some good. You seem to let yourself go. Oh, right? real <laughs> nice. He was just talking about his lack of self-esteem when he looks in the mirror. Oh. I'm sorry. Is this an after-school special? No, I didn't say I have a lack of self-esteem. You alluded to it. I didn't mean to offend you. I'm not offended. He's offended. Good, nice job. Are you through being shaft today? No, but I could put it on hold. It's probably just like a midlife crisis. I'll figure it out. Feeling fat? Yeah, kind of. Well, what is it that drives you to eat? Food tastes good? Well, sure, but there's gotta be something more than that. Your kid's healthy? Perfectly fine. Is it a marital thing? Your wife still got a stretchy vag? What? No. Lisa's vag is of normal proportion. Thanks for asking, though. It's worse than I thought. Yeah, that's not good, man. What? Well, if it's not sex, and uh, it's not a problem with the offspring, you just hate your life. You've settled and you're miserable, and there's nowhere else to go from here. It's only gonna get worse. When you were younger, you used to, you used to look like me. Now you're starting to look like this pudgy bastard Liam over here. It's true. And I hate my life. We're the ghosts of Christmas past and future. 
and Christmas is fast approaching. It is time to make a change. Did you just make a reference to Dickens? Yes. What, a black man can't read classical literature? I'll have you know that Charles D. knew what it was like growing up in the ghettos. Wes, you grew up in the suburbs of Omaha. You don't know what it's like in the ghetto. <laughs> oh, it's like that, huh? All right, I didn't want to do this, but since we're talking Dickens, how about another classic novel? Oliver Twist. Are you two having a pissing contest over who's read the most Dickens? He's making a reference to my not having parents. Wait, what? I didn't know this. You don't talk about it anymore. I mean, you have kids now. Maybe that's what's weighing in on this depression. It happened when I was a kid, a long time ago. I don't even think about it. And I'd really appreciate it if we stopped talking about it right now. What happened to them? Car accident, killed on impact. Wes! I'm sorry, man, but he asked. Wait a minute, how come you told Wes about this and not me? I've known you long- Oh my god, guys, look, I told Wes when I was drunk. It usually never happens. You drink all the time. No, not drinking, talking about- I need a drink right now! <laughs> it's your turn to bowl. Fine. You guys are paying for the next round when I'm done. <laughs> You're paying for that shit, I ain't paying for nothing. Look, man. <laughs> it's been amazing. We spend every day together for the last week. He shows me his favorite films, and I have him read my favorite poets. Whoa. Neil's reading poetry? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he hates it. Well, give it time. Well, you know it, he'll settle in. You won't be able to get him to do a damn thing you want. Yikes, someone sounds bitter. I'm sorry. It's sweet. I'm really happy for you guys. Oh my god. I could totally rock this, and it's so cheap. I hate shopping for Black Friday. I wish I could just buy all this stuff for myself. Isn't it weird that we're shopping for Black Friday deals on a Saturday? We keep spreading it out. Oh, what do you think of this? Does this exude a let's have sex look? I would say it exudes a more uh, let's go to church look. Really? Shit, I've been married so long. I think I've lost my touch. Help me. Okay. You're trying to get Rob to do more in the sack with you than just sleep, and you've exhausted all sorts of romancy things, and now you're strictly reduced to just appealing to him with your body. Yes. Then you are in the wrong section. Welcome to the juniors department, where style is always in fashion. I don't know. This is kid stuff. What this is, is the rejuvenator that you need, okay? It's all the coolest looks, just a little bit tighter to show off that bodacious bod of yours. Yeah. That skirt you love, just a little bit shorter. The jeans. Just a little hipper to show off those hips. Oh my god. This'll get any 13-year-old boy's prick hard. It should work for your husband. A man's sexual appetite pretty much doesn't change from that age. Try that on. She's gonna look great. I have it on, but it's embarrassing. Woo! You are a totally fuckable crab magnet. Oh, come on, like you've never had crabs before? Forget it. Not Make sure to keep an eye on Desmond. I don't want him too close to that slide. Hey. Hey. 
I didn't think you were gonna make it. I almost didn't. I didn't think you got texts anymore. So Neil's not here? Nope. I thought he would be. I can't turn him away from Ariel these days. Yeah, what is that about? You're happy. <laughs> sure. I miss him. Me too. I can't believe it's been a year since he passed. What? Dad. Oh. Remember I used to bring Becky here to play? And he would be the troll under that bridge and he'd chase her around and then when he finally caught her, she would just squeal. Now let's get him playing. Tag, you're in it. <laughs> That's what I miss, about being a kid. <laughs> well, you can just run around and have fun. When it gets a little bit too scary. You can just go to home base and be safe. You're safe. I just feel like there's a lot not being said. I don't want any secrets between us. No secrets. Lines. That's all? You see something else? Yeah. I see all these people going about their daily structured routine on different paths but going in the same direction, except for these two lines right here. They're different than the rest, all jagged and broken off. They're defying the norm. You see all that in this? Yeah. You're making that up. I'm not. I call bullshit. Well, art is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, I don't believe that either. Well, aren't you contradictory today? <laughs> no, it's just that this looks like something my niece gave me when she was five, but nobody would call that art. She was just playing around with no concept of art theory, but it meant something to her. To her, it was art. I'll bet if I brought down Becca's painting and hung it right up next to this one that everyone here would think it was the most brilliant thing they'd ever seen. But Becca's painting won't get hung up here. No one will experience it because she's just a child. She's not popular. Hmm. Interesting. Art is in the eye of the artist. Entertainment is in the eye of the beholder. Your way of thinking gives me a brain orgasm. Really? Well, I think I saw an empty broom closet over there. Maybe I can catch your body up to your brain. Well, let's go check it out. <laughs> I love you. Brilliant. I love you.
want to play? Me? Well, do you, punk? Eastwood. Nice. Excuse me. But I'm fighting back. Fighting. Never going back. Shit. Balls in hand. Huh? The cue ball can be placed anywhere on the surface. And I think I'll place it right here. Whoa, hey, let's just keep playing the game. I thought that's what we were doing. Or are you one of those uppity gays? I'm not. What you are has been reading too many of those straight women advice columns. You want me to whine and dine you before I dive into you? I don't know. Maybe I just... Maybe we can get something to eat? Go to a movie? I don't need to go on a date to know that I'm attracted to you. I don't think I'm ready for this. The mouth is so underrated. Think about how amazing it is. It's the first thing I notice. It's the only body part whose functions help with all the pieces of survival. Eating, communication, could be used as a weapon, or a sexual appetite. Uh... No, I can't. Rob, you slim Jim looking bastard, look at you. Hey, Jeremy. I mean, just Jeremy. I never thought I'd see you here. Where's Lisa? She must have dragged you down here with your nails dug in the carpet. Lisa? His wife. Your wife. Could have been magic. Matt and I are celebrating our one year anniversary. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. And who knew that the Duck Dynasty State of Iowa would be giving us our marriage license a year ago today? <laughs> And where is that sexy bitch you call a wife anyway? Uh, Lisa, she's, uh, dancing in the, uh, dancing room. Well, we'll have to say hi. Which room? You know, the one over there is crowded, shoulder to shoulder. Can I buy you guys a drink? Celebrate? Sounds good. What about you, honey? Works for me. I planned on getting blitzed anyway, and I'm halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> Raise your glasses, all. This is to my Jeremy for being the one to lift me up when I didn't think I could be any lower. Hmm. For doing everything in his power to protect me and to accept my protection. For us, who after eight years of dating and one year of marriage, still spend every possible moment with each other together. Hmm. And not because we're forced to, <laughs> but because that's what makes us happy. I love you. <laughs> Cheers. Mazel tov. Thank you, sweetie. Cheers. Cheers. Many more years. <laughs> huh? Lisa. What are you doing here? I'm celebrating Jeremy and Matt's anniversary. Oh, we're sorry, sweetie. We stole him away while you were dancing. Dancing? Uh, yeah, it's a funny story, actually. Some guy was hitting on me, and they saved me. I don't even remember telling you about this. Of course you didn't. That's why they be here. Uh, anyway, uh, happy anniversary. Oh, oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> but we are glad that you did. In a Christmas bag. Was it recycled? Oh, it counts. <laughs> so tell us, how do you two know the guest of honor? Lisa and I met in a pottery class we were taking together. She was horrible. <laughs> I, of course, oh. perfection. <laughs> she needed some help with her handiwork. And of course, the secret is out. I am good with my hands. Oh. I can't complain. <laughs> so I showed her how it was done. I was her Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Isn't that right to me? <laughs> Lisa? Jeremy was just telling us who you guys met. Oh, yeah, um, pottery. We know that part already. <laughs> Are you feeling all right? Maybe you've had too much to drink. Uh, maybe you need a water. I'm fine. I, uh, I'm just tired from all the dancing. <laughs> well, that sounds like a good problem to have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, enough about me. This is about you guys. Open your present. Oh! Can I have the honors? How can I resist? <laughs> he loves a good gift! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, wait, oh, 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 oh,
I invited you guys here because I want to make a change, and you two are going to help me. Now, tonight is very important. Don't ask me why, because I'm not going to tell you. Just know that I have my reasons. I've been thinking a lot about our talk at the bowling alley, and you guys are right. I'm going through some kind of midlife crisis. And maybe it is my upbringing, or my stagnant marriage, or maybe something completely different, but that doesn't matter. What really matters is that the Rob that has been will no longer be after today. I think I'm ready for a makeover. Makeover? I thought you invited us over here to watch basketball. I misled you, and I feel really bad about that, I do. But there's no time to dwell. What's really gonna happen today is a three-step process in redefining who I am, but I need you guys. Why us? I don't know anything about makeovers. Well, because I don't have time to get it professionally done, and I know that you guys will do it without questioning me, or cracking jokes. <laughs> Unlikely. <laughs> On the contrary, very likely. The game is about to start. Where's your French dip? Liam, remember that special show you had me attend with you? What show? No. <laughs> Rob, you wouldn't. I would. What am I missing here? Last year, Liam called me up and said there was something he always wanted to get off his bucket list. Said he needed to be nice and liquored up to do it. So we met at a bar. I had some drinks, but he wouldn't tell me exactly what he wanted to do. Well, an hour and 12 shots later. Let's go to a show. Liam had me drive him to the Children's Theater. What? The show was called Old MacDonald's Funtime Farm, if I remember correctly. What? Liam is a closeted furry. He made me sit through the show, and afterwards, he made me stand in the autograph line with kids so he can make a proposition. Oh, and thank you for coming. Bye. <laughs> um, what Hello. was your favorite animal? The pig. She was funny. Aww. <laughs> well, thank you for coming to our show. Thank you. Yeah, bye. <laughs> ah, and where's your little one? <laughs> I don't have one. Uh, what was your favorite part? <laughs> My favorite part? was when the barnyard owl and the piggy got it on and the naughty farmer watched, if you know what I mean. Ooh. What the fuck? I can't believe you told him. Oh, this is messed up. I had to tell him to let you know how serious I'm about this. But I won't tell a single soul if you follow through for me. He won't tell anybody, but this shit is too good not to tell. No, you're not going to say anything either, Wes. Because if you do, I'm going to tell him the truth. That you're not black. That your mom was white and your dad was just a dark-skinned Arab. Ha! Why would you do that? Because what I'm going to ask of you two is something you're not going to want to do. And as long as we know we have something over each other, we'll all be protected. This is horrible. Why would you want to do this to yourself? I gotta stay fashionable. I don't know that this is really fashionable. In fact, I think it's purposely unfashionable. You guys can't talk me out of it. Fuck it, let's do it. Alright. Do, uh... You know how to cut hair? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. What? Nothing? So what do you guys think? We're being held ransom to not tell you what we think. Why am I holding your wife's vibrator? I, I'm not complaining, I'm just asking. What? It's not a vibra- it's a spray tan gun. Uh, I need to get bronzed. Alright, you creep me out with that thing. <laughs> you spray me. No! What are you doing? This is not the locker room. Hey, guys, I gotta get completely naked. I don't wanna get a farmer tan on my goods. Oh, God, this is one strange midlife crisis. Wes, do it. Do this for me. 
Spray my naked body. Wait, 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 hold on. What? Your eyes, they're closed. Hell yeah, they're closed. I'm not trying to see that. Dude, you can't go in and blind. You could, like, double layer the tan and make it all, like, super dark. Well, Lisa will thank you for it. <laughs> I want a tan. I don't want to look like Al Jolson, all right? Do it right. Fuck. Fine. Thank God this is the last thing we have to do. Ah! <laughs> My turn. All right, don't be too excited about it. Yeah! <laughs> One, two, three! Mom, this is funny. Well, get a bottle and have your dad put him to bed. Thank you for coming over. Oh, it's not a problem. Honey, I have plans tonight anyway, so. We have to go, Rob. I'm coming. What do you think? Let's go. Make the decision and find the feel. Shaping and holding to what is real. Neil texted that they're here already. What is this place? It's a karaoke bar. Oh, God, who picked it? Ariel picked it. <laughs> That's funny, man. This is gonna be the end of it. Be nice, okay? Hey, there he is. Hi. He is. Mwah. Hey. What's uh, <laughs> up there, Jekyll? Come on over, have a seat. I have my control. It's good to see you two. Yeah. Wouldn't miss it. Since you two got together, it's like I lost two friends at once. For the honeymoon effect to be over. I don't know, Lise. This time it feels different. I don't think the honeymoon's going to end. <laughs> hey, Neil, you like this place? Yeah, we come here all the time. Really? Yeah. You play karaoke every night? Mm hmm. How's that working out for you? I don't mind it. Ariel's got a sultry voice. I love listening to her sing. Really? Yeah, you'll hear it soon. She's up here in a second. We just have to suffer through this guy first. In the musical that I, Gloom, and me, Doom, have created, Christopher has started to unravel and is trying to stay connected to this safe fantasy and trying to create another sculpture. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard this song before. But that's because he wrote he it finds himself. himself unable to Hey, my mom wants to meet you. Unable yeah, to she said she wants to know the woman who the replaced you. He always See, Neil, felt. I knew we should have been spending more time with your family. All right, thank you. That was interesting, as always. Okay, Ariel, you are up. Lisa, don't you walk away, don't you walk away, don't you walk away. It's been a long, hard day. Thought you hated shit like this. I did, but I don't mind it now. Ariel really enjoys it. Oh, so you just put up with it for her? No. I enjoy it too. Please welcome Rob to the mic. Hey, 
material. Um, apparently, you've made my brother-in-law a very happy man. He wants to spend all of his time with you. So much time with you. So uh, this, this song is for you. Accident once they've cooled down. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It picture slipped out of my hand when I was trying to sing. Yeah. But I freaked out. I called Poison Control Center uh, from a non traceable cell phone. I'm not stupid. And the nurse on the phone was like super nice to me. She's like, oh my God, relax, just calm down. Have Neil, I need to talk to you. What? I need to tell you something. For the What's next that? Hours for signs of intoxication. Can we go to the bar? He's four. All right. You ladies need anything? Yeah, how about a couple of drafts? Everyone's round is on me. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. I insist. I insist. Hey, thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, my happy children, put your hands together for Eli Murdoch! For your house dress, please. So what's up? Uh, how you been? Good. I didn't plan on getting banned from a bar when I started the night. Sorry about that. You look different, you all right? Just wanted to make a change. Yeah, know what you mean. I've made some changes myself. Yeah, like what? Yeah, getting in shape, trying new things, going out a lot more, you know, living. It's funny how you have time to go out, but you never invite me. <laughs> is that what this is about? What? You being a dick. What are you talking about? Come on, Rob, you're being a dick because you're jealous of Ariel. Well, yeah. Well, you know how it is when you first start dating someone. You want to spend all of your free time together so you can just focus on each other. Yeah, but you're not good at being in relationships. You usually fuck it up before the second date, so... Thanks. Well, you know what I mean. Well, what can I say? I'm not hopeless after all. That's not... Look, I just want... What? It's been four months. You're right. I should make more of an effort to see my family. I will. What is it about her anyway? I mean, I don't get it. Is it because she can sing a song? A lot of people can do that. You know, you shouldn't settle. You should find someone that's not going to try to change you. I didn't like who I was. She didn't make me do anything. I made all of these changes on my own. I'll tell you what's so great about her. After you insult her during your song, embarrass her in front of her friends, and mock her during friendly conversation, she still offers to buy you a beer. Hey, this guy playing is really good. Want to 
want to dance? Sorry, we don't dance. I'd love to. Come on, grab Lisa. Meet us on the dance floor. She looks lonely over there. It's okay. I don't dance either. This dance. Born. I know. Wait, what? I saw your computer history. You know that Hitler haircut? It's fine. <laughs> I just have to accept it. Just don't go wearing swastikas or going oh, on racist Lisa, rants. Lisa, I'm not in love with Nazi porn. You're not? No. Oh. Okay. Good. Are you gay? No. What is it then? I'm in love with Neil. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. I think you've said enough. We need to talk in private. Let go of my arm, Rob. Come on, man. I'm trying here. What is your problem? What happened that night? What are you talking about? Neil and I went camping and we kissed. You did what? He's just using you, Ariel. Excuse us. We're going to the restroom. Oh, I'm in here. What the fuck is wrong with you? This bathroom is occupied. Why would you make that shit up? Occupado? You're in denial. I'm not denying anything. Hey, guys. A nice job bringing up the camping kiss. Real cunt move of you since it was you who said that we shouldn't say anything to anyone. Now I have to explain that to Ariel. And Lisa. Well, how are you gonna do that? I don't know. Just accept it. Accept what? That that kiss meant something. Are you out of your mind? You dropped me. And it all happened after that kiss. You're right. I did drop you. What, now you think you're just God's gift to women? I don't think I'm God's gift to anything. But Ariel does. She sees potential in me that I've never seen, and she doesn't just accept that I'm going to fail. I don't just accept You usually fuck everything up by the second date. Your words, man. Look, I'm the one that told you to go on the date with her. I set you guys up. And I appreciate it. You used to want to spend all your free time with me. You'd call me up, say, let's grab a beer, or let's just hang out, and now, nothing. So it's what, an ego thing? All right, that's not fair. You ran away from me. Yeah, I did. I felt pathetic around you. Always the third wheel to my little sister. When you and Lisa would have plans with another couple, I'd just sit at home alone. It was depressing. She challenges me. I haven't had something this good since ever. And every time I talk about her, you just make jokes about how we're not going to last. So I got sick of it. I got sick of you. You were never my third wheel. Lisa was my backup plan, not you. What? I never even wanted to be with Lisa. Be careful what you say about my sister. This is all your fault. The fuck it is, Rob. You made me kiss you at our last camping trip and you pushed me towards Lisa on our first. How did I push you? Why the long face? I think I'm failing biology. <laughs> Why is failing biology funny? Uh, because science is funny. Okay. <laughs> so, uh... 
What do you say we take a walk? If you want. Oh, I want. Hey, do you want to go to the truck? You sure? Yeah. All right, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Just a I don't want to hear about you having sex with my sister. I do. She clung on to me because it was her first time. And weeks went by and Marlene never came around, so I was going to end it with her. Then you dropped that bomb that you were gonna rent a one-bedroom apartment off campus, and I just, I freaked out. You know, I, I thought that if we weren't roommates anymore that, that I'd lose you. So, I kept dating Lisa because I figured at least that would give us a reason to keep talking. I would have still been friends with you if you'd stopped dating Lisa. Oh, well, I didn't know that. I didn't have any friends in high school. I moved around so much it never made any sense. I mean, by the time I got to know someone, I was whisked away to a new family, a new town, a new school, a new life. You were the first real friend I ever had. You never told me that. And then on your 21st birthday, you sat me down to talk. Take this shot with me. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Before you do, we have to come up with a toast. To your birthday. No, that shit is old. I've been hearing it all night. To us being friends then. More than that. Best friends. Getting warmer. You know what I really want for my birthday? What I've waited for three years now? What? I want you to be in my family. To make this my best birthday ever. Promise me Yeah. that you'll marry Lisa. Come on, man, I know you love her and it would make us brothers. Come on, I man. I know, man. Do it for me. All right. All right, for you. For me, for you, for everyone. To my brother. I barely even remember that night. Well, I do. So you're gay? No, I don't know. Look, I kissed another guy. He didn't do anything for me. I just, I don't think about guys that way. And I am attracted to women. So what does that make me? Gay? Straight? Bi? I think I'm just gay for you. Yeah, I don't think they have a label for that. This is too much. Neil, please. Tell me the truth. Do you love me? Yes. As a brother. But if you don't get your shit together and fix this thing with Lisa, I won't be. Come on, Neil, please. Okay? It's okay. Lisa, I'm sorry. Let me explain. Neil, let's go. Lisa, wait! Leave me alone! Please, Lisa! What? Our brother? What is wrong with you? Are you really in love with him? As long as I've known him. Oh my god. What about me? Do you even love me? I did. I do. I, I, I fell in love with you. Why did you even date me if you were in love with him? You don't want to know that. Tell me. Because I couldn't have him? Because you were like him? Because I loved what you had in common with him? Believe this. We have kids. What about our kids? When we had Becca, everything changed. I took all those thoughts about Neil and I just I, I put them away. I I buried it. This does not happen. Things like this do not happen. I didn't want it to happen. I 
I do love you. Stop it, you're sick. This is sick. Don't say that, I am not. Just, I need you to love me, come on. Unbelievable. First my dad, and now this. It is always about you. This has nothing to do with him. Jesus. I took care of the kids. I kept this family together. Does that not count for anything? God, how dare you say you kept the family together like you were the only one doing it? You were there for me when my father passed away. That is what partners are supposed to do. I work every fucking day to keep our house clean and our kids fed and entertained when they need to be. And you did it for a few months, but I've been doing it for 11 years. So thank you for cutting me a little slack for being upset that I lost my father. He was 60 years old. It sucks that he died, it does. But at least you had him. I didn't. You don't know what pain is. Alright? Pain is having a police officer come tell you that you're on your own. You learn to bury things. You learn. I'm sorry. But that is not an excuse for this. I didn't choose this. Yeah, well, I didn't have a choice either. place you got here. Thanks. So what can I do for you? I wanted to apologize for what happened. Yeah? Yeah. Neil misses you. Did he say that? No, but I can tell. Has he got my calls? Yeah. He hasn't returned any of them. I think it'll take him more time. I guess he's not as forgiving as you, I suppose. I think you can do something to push me over to forgiveness. What's that? Follow me. So you've never had a tap before, huh? No. Nice ring. You gave it to me a week ago. Good for you. Thanks. You ready? Is it gonna hurt? Yep. That was nice. <laughs> so, are you and Lisa working things out? Yeah, you come back from something like that. Take care of him, okay? Yeah. Hey, Rob. Thanks. 
sister. Rob? Is that you? Hey. Hey, Tom. Hey. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. yeah. How you doing? Good. Weird seeing you here. I know you like comics. Oh, yeah, no, I've been collecting them since I was a kid. Huh. Yeah, I love comics too. I haven't seen you around in a while. Where you been? We quit two months ago. Oh, wow. Better position, I hope? Not better. I love comics. I've been collecting them also for years. Hmm. It's weird you worked with someone for ten years and think you'd get to know them, right? Crazy. Yeah, I suppose so. Say, do you, uh, you want to get coffee sometime? Maybe we can catch up? I would like that. All right. Yeah, no, I really would. I, I'm, uh, leaving town, though. Oh, where are you going? Just traveling. Not really sure. So I, I stopped in. I was going to pick up some mags for the road. Okay. Uh, maybe some other time, then. Okay. Hey, Tom. Are you? What? Nothing. Never mind. Okay. Well, have a nice day. You have to tell the kids.
took on that Mexican cruise Yeah, that silly sombrero one I was so in love Here's one who took of me At that place making pottery Cause I lost that 